I'm about to show you how I turn my videos from this to this. Now, I'm not going to bore you by telling you the importance of color grading your videos, blah, 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 because if you're watching this video, chances are you already know that and you just want to learn how to do it. So let us get straight into the video. So I decided to use CapCut Mobile to do this instead of my laptop because I know that most people who watch me here use their mobile phones to edit, but it's definitely the same process on your laptop. So once you open CapCut, bring in the video you have filmed and you want to color grade. Once you bring in your video, go down and look for filter. I like to start with a filter first because this way I can now adjust it, you know, to suit my, or the way I want it. Um, this one's showing pro because we're using a free version. There are a ton of filters here that we cannot use, but we can definitely find some really good ones that are free that we can use. I personally like to use this one, Red T, first. So I just take it to the highest. Then after that, click on adjust, and then you cannot adjust all this um, effect or tabs here to suit your taste or to suit what you're going for. It's just really to figure out how you want your video to look or what you like. I don't touch everything here. I just like adjust the ones that are important, the ones I want to adjust. So really there's no specific you know just follow what you want how you want your video to look as you as you go adjusting it you just see how your video is turning out and if you're okay with that you continue with this graph i just like to touch the white and red tab just to make like a a mini s shape just a little as you're doing it you keep looking at your video to just see you know what you're doing to see if you like it Once I'm done with the graph, I also like to touch the temperature a bit. Like I said, guys, don't do not do exactly what I'm doing. These are just some things you would tweak to get the feel and look of, the, um, of what you're going for. And after all of that, I also like to like add one more filter. Thankfully, you can add as many as you like. Um, so I usually add this robust, you know, and just take it to the highest. Now, if your cap cuts, if you add your filter and it doesn't give this, this layout, try updating your cap cut app. And that's it guys. I tried to make it as simple and as beginner friendly as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and tips on how to level up your YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.